Hey guys, what's up? Today I have a mixed tier battle. This one is against uh, Ghost Mater. I would say it's Matter, but it's only one T, so it's Mater. Um, I had a battle actually before this, but the guy had like Nine Tails, Infernape, uh, fucking Gliscor. Like it was like five OUs, and like not like low OUs either. And then Sceptile. So I'm like, this is just a Sun team without a Venusaur. So. It ended up, like, I battled him, but it ended up disconnecting anyway, so I was just like, ugh, whatever. Um, but this guy, he was like, yeah, it was mixed tier, which he brought a rain team, and it's like, the whole point of mixed tier is to have fun, and not, like, oh my god, I gotta use weather. But, um, whatever. He goes for Focus Blast, I guess, predicting the Hydreigon, but I'm a Jirachi, so I don't really care. Like, I'm especially defensive, as you can tell by my HP. He's going to go for the Hydro Pump, which is going to do less than half. So I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty fine. I'm going to go for the Wish. And uh, he's going to hit me with a Focus Blast. And I still don't really know why he's doing that. But all right. Um, now, I'm pretty sure I can still live a Hydro Pump, unless min max or whatever. But I go for the Iron Head. He breaks through the Flinch, the Paralysis. But fortunately, he's going to miss, which I'm like, oh. If you had a broken through all of that, I would have been upset. Like, that would have been ridiculous. Because that's like... I want to say 76% chance. Anyways, I go for Iron Head. I'm content to just keep Iron Heading him because he can Hydro Pump me, but he can't 2 it KO me. So it's, you know, Wish and stuff and until he gets a crit. But you know what? I'm going to keep Iron Heading him and doing damage. So he switches up to Gliscor. I do get a crit, which is nice. Um... But I'm going to switch out to Hydreigon anyways. He's going to have to switch out because he's fearing the Dragon Ball spot. This is actually a physical choice banded Hydreigon, which uh, was the problem with this team and the last team because I'm like, fuck. They both had Gliscors, and I'm like, this is a predominantly physical team, and uh, they both had Gliscors, and I'm like, shit. But, um, yeah, so I do hit KO his Lucario, which I guess he was not expecting to happen. But uh, it happened anyways because I am Choice Bandit. I'm going to stay in. I'm like, he's probably going to Spore. So it's like, I don't really want anything to go to sleep. So I might as well try and hit him. It's like, if he does go to sleep, I do have Heal Bell on Altaria. So I can go to that since he resists his bug and his grass stab. And it's like, Weed Sheet is not a problem because I have Roost. And so Heal Bell and all that stuff. As long as it doesn't like x me, which probably won't even kill me. But I do manage to hit him. Uh, like I said, I am Choice Bandit, so I have to go for Outrage. And then he brings in Fraligator. I'm going to break through again and hit him. Uh, so two turn two, two turn Outrages is enough for me. I'm like, no way, I'm chanting it again. I'm going to switch to Victini. He's going to go for Ice Fang anyways. Um, or, like, Protect. So it doesn't really matter. So just switch out to Victini. And he's going to think I'm physical, but I'm not. I'm a special Victini, which I actually really like. Um... It's very powerful. A lot of people don't expect it, so they go to their physical walls, or in this case, stay in with their physical walls, and they get dominated by moves that they're not even expecting. I mean, yeah, I still have the fire, psychic, and electric, but I have that ice stab. Or not stab, that ice, the hidden power ice. Anyways, um, I go to Hydreigon, even though I'm pretty sure he was going to Thunder Wave, but I'm just like, eh, maybe he'll not Ice Beam? I don't know. I'm like, there'd be nothing else he'd go for. Like, psychic would be stupid, Ice Beam would be stupid. But, uh, yeah. anyway, so whatever, it doesn't really matter, because Lesbian doesn't even do half, it's like 100-ish. Hit him with a crunch, which is going to do way more than half, because again, I am choice baited. I'm going to switch out predicting the Moonlight, there we go. Uh, but he just Ice Beams again, I'm like, dude, I would have killed you unless I got fully paralyzed. Plus, I didn't want to play with, you know, paralysis and him moonlighting and stuff like that. So, go to Ursa Ring. Expecting to not take a hit, but I do. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to go for the Sword Sets. He goes for Thunder Wave. He said it was a misclick, and I'm just like, okay. But, uh, yeah, even Psychic would have done another, what, like maybe 150. I still wouldn't have died, because I'm going to hit him with a Facade, because it's stronger than Crunch. I am going to get a crit, which didn't matter at all, obviously. But, like I was saying, it, Facade is stronger, because it's doubled power, so 140 plus stab, so 210. Whereas Crunch would be 80 doubled, uh, 160, so... Crunch is only for ghost types. Only for ghost types. Or when you're not status, but I don't know when that would happen. I guess if you lead with it or so. I, I don't know. Anyways, um, so that's the battle. I end up taking him out fairly easily, but uh, yeah, it was a mixed tier battle, and you know, I basically used uh, you know, Hydreigon, Jirachi, and Victini, which you know, two OUs and one that is commonly seen in OU, but and then Earth Ring, because 
I could, kind of. Um, didn't really need it. But anyways, uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little battle. And, uh, you know, I'll see you all next time.